Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hoppers. Today, joined by Paul Pete. <laughs> or Peter. <laughs> yeah. Well, Paul Pete. No, yeah, that's right. That's your Instagram handle. Yeah, it is. Uh, so, Peter is a new colleague of mine. He's a brewer's trainee at the brewery I work at right now. And, uh, well, we know each other from the beer scene locally. And uh, he's part of the birthday share tonight, and he's on camera for the first time. Uh, you're actually, a chef by trade, right? Yeah, exactly. So, kind of a change of course, but still with food items. Food items and ingredients and tastes. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're trying a beer. We're puffing your Vale cherry today. Yeah. Uh, and it's funny because we have, like, Vale is quite known for the IPAs, and I've only had IPAs pretty much from them in a couple of steps. So, this is going to be my first, well, a sour, but I've never had, like, barrel aged farmhouse sales from them. This is going to be my first one. This is in a series they do with a restaurant called Long Oven, and this is the Long Oven Chapter 1 in a pretty damn gorgeous bottle. Um, and this is a farmhouse ale on 5.5%, aged in red wine barrels from France and brewed with seaweed and oysters. <laughs> Sounds really interesting. Really interesting. Very unique and different. Um, like, oysters is something you uh, like, uh, think of with oyster stuff. Yeah. Exactly. Something like that. So. I'm really excited to see what it brings to it. I'm thinking minerality and maybe a little bit of uh, sea, yeah, uh, sea salt. Yes, yeah, salinity. Yes, that's what exactly. I was thinking. Was, but especially the minerality. Yeah. I think the seaweed will bring also like that saltiness. Yeah. But um, pour is a very, very nice hazy, golden yellow, yeah. lightly orange color. Looks beautiful, yeah. to be honest. White head on there. Let's check yeah. out the aroma. Ooh, yeah. Like wow. super stone fruity, like loads of Real stone fruit, plums, and mm -hmm. apricots, yeah. yeah, peach. There is definitely a little bit of minerality to it, but it's it's got much more fruitiness than I expected. Yeah, I'm thinking a little bit of pears. Yeah, from the, the sweetie maybe. maybe yeah, because it has some sweetness. Yeah, to it. all mm -hmm. the all the barrels maybe. Yeah, I don't know which red wine barrels they use. It just says French red wine barrels, but there is like. Vineyard quality to it, but yeah. to me it smells more towards what you find in white wine. But I think that's just because of the flavors you're getting from the yeah, from the sour. Yeah, yeah, from the sour. Um, and yeah, slight minerality, but it's not like crazy. Mm. And not really saltiness to me at no. least. But I was thinking uh, ghost style because of the minerality and uh, yeah. But but I don't think they added enough oysters to make it really mineral. No. You know? But I really like that kind of fruitiness to it. Not too much funk. No. Really, it's more fruitiness in my mind. Definitely some oakiness, which smells nice. Yeah. Let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, very easy going in. Well, well blended stuff. Very intertwined. There is a little bit of a salinity to it. Especially yeah, in the, really. On the, on the tip of the tongue right now. Exactly. I'm, uh, I'm loving how much, how oak forward this is. Mm -hmm. It's uh, very, very oaky and quite dry. Yeah. But actually, it's interesting because it, it's got that minerality, but it's not something I would at all associate with seafood. No, really. Not but I think at all. it would pair amazingly with seafood. This with oysters or lobster. Or exactly. Something. Instead of the, the dry champagnes or uh, bubbles that you usually drink, I mm. think this would be the perfect fit. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Because of the the slight dryness, and you also have the the, the acidity to complement this. Mm. And it's it's like really fruity. Uh, like this, this pear quality to me, lots of apricot. It's yep. got like almost like almost like Starburst candy or something. It's got like some candy like sweetness, I think, as yeah. well, and not just like fresh fruit. And then you get the hint of minerality, hint of salinity. There's a nice that drying oak character again. To me, it, it reminds me more of a white wine because of all the bright flavors yeah, you get exactly. from the base beer. The pear is there as well, even yeah. like white grape notes. Yeah. Really good, mm. really drinkable too. Actually, a kind of a lower carbonation for this style. Exactly, and I, but I, I like the lower carbonation. It has more mouthfeel too. Yeah, it does. Uh, it feels really creamy, and the, um, I do feel the the saltiness, not that much in the taste, but in the viscosity of the beer. I feel like it, it rubs on my tongue. Mm. But. Yeah, I don't know if I could guess per se it was would be oysters or seaweed, but mm. it's just lending that slight minerality and that slight savory, salty salinity to it. All in all, just a really nice, super drinkable, refreshing from hotel. Sourness, not too much either, so I think most people could drink this as well. Yeah. Uh, kind of like if you're into having white wines with your seafood, 
you'd easily drink this, I think, because of white wines have some slight sourness to it as well. Yeah. Uh, I'm thinking like a 93 or something like that. Yeah. I think this is really good. 90 or 90 to 90, 92, I think. 92, 3, something yeah. like that. Yeah. It's, uh, really good stuff. So, if you guys had a chance to try the Veils Long Oven Chapter 1, actually surprisingly good. <laughs> really I good. Agree. Uh, if you had a chance to try it, let us know what you thought of it, guys. And have you had any, has any of the other beers in this series been released yet? No. Okay, well, stay tuned for the rest. <laughs> and as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Check out Brow Pete on Instagram, on Instagram. Uh, if you want to. And uh, we're going to say cheers. Cheers, and thanks for having me. No worries, dude. And see you guys in another beer video.